Iconic connects directly with Adobe's Creative Cloud suite, including Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, and Illustrator, enabling you and your teams to manage, edit, and collaborate on media without stepping out of your creative workflow. Here's how the Iconic Adobe panel looks in Premiere Pro. It's essentially a streamlined version of the Iconic web interface embedded directly into your Creative Cloud applications. Using the panel, it's easy to search media, view metadata, and view additional asset details like file information, transcriptions, and comments. You can also play back your videos and more. Let's say we want to build a new edit using Premiere and the iconic Adobe panel, and we want to use assets in a specific collection. We can build our initial timeline using these original assets or their proxies. Let's use proxies for a lighter editorial workflow. You can see Iconic quickly locates and brings the assets into Premiere's project panel, no matter where the originals are stored. Whether in the cloud or on a local drive, Iconic retrieves the assets and brings them into Premiere for your workflow. Notice the time-based comments from Iconic. They've appeared here as markers in Premiere, guiding us to the key moments we've been told to use for this edit. So let's make those edits. Once the project is ready, we can save it back into Iconic so others can access it remotely along with the assets used in the project. Now, the Premiere Pro project file is uploaded into this collection, ready for collaboration. Uploading sequences is just as easy. Let's add this one to a sub-collection we've created specifically for exports from this project. This dialog window lets us choose a render export preset with the list pulled directly from Adobe Media Encoder. Any custom presets you've created will also appear here. Media Encoder is now uploading the sequence to our requested specs. Once the sequence is rendered, it's automatically added to the collection. In the Relations tab, you can see all the assets used in this sequence, their locations and iconic, and the Premiere Pro project they're connected to. Let's click through to the Premiere Pro project. Again, we can see all of the assets used in this edit, making it easy for others to pick up work on the project if need be. Now, let's take a look at Iconic review and approval alongside your editorial workflows. Let's say someone working in Iconic rejected this asset, and they've added a comment why. Using Iconic's Premiere Pro editing workflows, we can make the necessary amends easily.
you can see that the new comment has appeared as a marker, highlighting what needs to be updated. With Iconic working behind the scenes, any editor can jump in and make the necessary changes. OK, we can now upload this version back into Iconic. For final delivery though, we'll reconnect the Hi-Res original files to the proxies before exporting. Iconic is now reconnecting the proxies in the timeline with their original Hi-Res versions. Now we're ready to export the sequence. Notice that Iconic has flagged that there's already an existing version of this project in Iconic. Let's upload this updated sequence as a new version. Now, the project is in Iconic and ready for further review, approval, or whatever the next stage may be in the workflow. As you can see, Iconic really does streamline remote editorial workflows, making collaboration on editorial projects smooth and efficient, no matter where your assets live or where your editors may be.